Welcome back. Your time right now is 6.09. The average commute in Mississippi is 24 minutes, and getting to our destination safely is priority number one, even though many of us may have forgotten a few important driving rules. Yeah, I had done some forgetting since I passed that driver's test so long ago. So, why do some of us break the law when we get behind the wheel? Here's a look at some of the most disregarded driving laws and why they're on the books in the first place. I got great drivers. Yeah. In addition to being the baseball coach and athletic director at McLaurin High School, Jeff Walker has also taught driver's ed for the last 30 years. The biggest change he's seen in a lifetime on the road? Cell phones cause more accidents than anything. They, they feel like they have to be on the cell phones 24-7, even when they're behind the wheel, and it's, it, it's not good. And if you take a ride with Coach Walker, your cell phone goes right into the trunk. That way you can focus on what's really important. Like what to do when a policeman has a car pulled over. Well, law now in Mississippi that you have to move over and give them the right lane if possible. It's a rule that could save the life of someone like Sergeant Curvin Stewart with the Mississippi Highway Patrol. And what that is for any emergency vehicle that's parked that is on the shoulder or to the right, you are to move to the left lane if possible to do so. If it's not safe to do so, you need to slow down to a speed in which you could stop if you had to. Got it, but what if the emergency vehicle is behind you? Sirens screaming headed to a scene. As stated by the law, you should slow down and move to the right so the uh, emergency vehicle can pass. Uh, we've had incidents where people stop in the middle of the road or not uh, proceed in the right direction. They'll proceed to the left. In fact, staying to the right is a good rule of thumb whenever you're out on the interstate. In a perfect world, the left lane would be for passing only. Obeying posted speed limits is also a good way to keep from getting a ticket, but do those limits change in severe weather? The speed limit changes for uh, commercial motor vehicles, and that is they are to uh, proceed at 10 miles under the posted speed limit. But that's only for commercial vehicles. The rest of us must rely on common sense, and if that scares you, remember Mississippi seatbelt law. Everybody in the front seat and back seat must be buckled up. During an accident, a rollover or something, your body becomes a projectile, absolutely. And you can do more damage to those that are buckled up. And that should give you a greater appreciation for the Click It or Ticket campaign. Now, children under the age of four must ride in a car seat, and kids up to eight need to be in a booster seat. And part two of Rules of the Road will look at the way technology has changed the way we drive and answer the age-old question, what is the speed limit when there is no posted speed limit? Can't. Yeah.